Number 68, integrated concepts. Letter A, what is the cost of heating a hot tub containing 1,500 kilograms of water from 10 to 40, assuming 75% efficiency and uh, the cost of electricity of 9 cents per kilowatt hour? All right, so first thing is I want to find the total cost. I developed this formula earlier in the chapter. I have no idea what problem it was, but it might have been in the 20s or the 30s, so maybe take a look. So the total cost here in this problem is going to be equal to then the rate that's being charged by the utility. In other words, the cost per joule okay they gave it per kilowatt hour so we're going to do a conversion multiplied then by the number of joules that were used okay to uh heat this thing so first thing i want to do is convert this i hate working with kilowatt hours i convert it right to joules we have to know the conversion so that's simply going to be nine cents per kilowatt one kilowatt hour and we have to recall that kilowatt hour related to joule is going to be one kilowatt hour is 3.6 times 10 to the six joules so then when we take that value and plug it into the calculator, it's going to be 9 divided by 3.6 times 10 to the 6th. And we get now uh, 2 point, whoops, 2.5, 2.5 times 10 to the minus 6. That's going to be cents per joule, but we'll probably want it on dollars. So just do this next last conversion. It doesn't matter. Cents per uh, dollar. And there's 100 cents on the dollar. So that cancels. And then we're going to divide it by 100, so that's 2.5 times 10 to the minus 8 now, dollars per joule. All right, that's how much it's going to cost per joule. So we got this piece, okay? Now i got to figure out how many joules were used. So that's simple. You're heating up water. you got to go back in the, your memory bank and find the formulas for heat transfer. So Q is equal to MC delta T. We're talking about water. And therefore, the mass, we need to know, is 1,500 kilograms. That's in the right unit. The specific heat is going to be 4184 or 4186. Whatever number you want to use, they're all, both going to be off because technically the specific heat changes or the temperature changes. So don't worry about it. The temperature change then here is going to be from uh, 10 to 40. So in other words, it's final minus initial. So it's 40 minus the 10. And let's see what we get. So this is 1,500 multiplied then by 4186 times then 30. So there's approximately now 1.88, 1.88 times 10 to the, let's see, 3, 6, 7, 8. So that's about 188 million uh, joules of energy needed to do that. So, okay. So now what do we have to do? So we found that the cost of heating the hot tub, oh, and by the way, so it's only 75% efficient. Okay, so in other words, that the item... All right, that is producing uh, the power. Not all of the power is going to be able to produce this amount of energy. Only 75% of it will be. So if this is the amount of energy that's actually needed to heat that water, that means that the uh, the uh, I'm trying to, the heater in the in the hot tub. So I was going to say the electric utility, but technically that's true. But the heater in the hot tub is going to have to produce even more energy than that, right? or consume even more energy than that uh, because it's not 100% efficient. So what we would do is we would take the 1.88 times 10 to the 8, divide it then by 0.75 because it's 75% efficiency. So then divide by 0.75 and we're going to have a value now of about 2.21. Oh, excuse me, 2.51. What the, the hell am I looking at? 2.51 times 10 and let's just make sure this is good still. 3, 6, 7, 8. Okay. Joules. So now that is indeed the actual amount of energy that's being consumed. This is the amount of energy that needs to heat the water, but uh, the heater has to actually consume this amount because it's not 100% efficient. Hopefully that makes sense. Now all we got to do is just plug it on in. Okay, so this is going to be now the 2.5 times 10 to the negative 8 multiplied by then 2.51 times 10 to the 8. Interesting enough. So what do we get? So let's do that multiplication. And we are going to get then 2.5 times 10 to the 8. Oops, negative 8. So about 6 bucks. So the cost here, the total amount of money, is about $6.28. Okay, $6.28. All right, so then it says uh, letter B. What current was used by the 220 volt alternating current, uh, alternating current electric heater? If this took four hours, okay, so uh, it sounds like power, you know, current, time, all that stuff. So power is equal to IV. We got to find the current. So then I is going to be equal to P over V. 
decompose then the power into energy per time. So energy per time, all over then the voltage, right? And we know the energy. This is the energy that is going to have to be utilized, okay? So then we have that value on the top, all right, the 2.51 times 10 to the eight. It took four hours, but you know we need the time in seconds. So how many seconds are in four hours? So simply take the four and multiply it by 3,600. That works out to be about 14,400. So 14,400 seconds. Divide that all then by the uh, voltage. So it was 220. So the current here finally is going to be 2.51 times 10 to the 8 divided then by 1,440. Uh, 14,400, and then divide that by 20, uh, 220, so 79.2, so 79.2 amps. There you go. Guys, thank you so very much for tuning in. Hope this helped. Please remember to help us out and subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Take care.